Hello from the American Muscle Car Museum in sunny Melbourne, Florida. Out from the collection today, we have a 1970 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. This was the first year of the second generation Camaro, and in 1970, GM styling chief Bill Mitchell started out with a clean slate with the entire car for redesigning it. This is the best looking Z28 they had in my opinion. They were lower, they were wider, they were longer. The glass visibility was much better. The quarter windows were removed. Just an overall great looking car. These were debuted February 26th at the Chicago Auto Show. Total production on the Camaros was just shy of 125,000. On the Z28's production for those was 8,733 or less than 8% of total production. They had 15 color choices, 15 interior choices, and five vinyl top choices. Our car here in the Molsan Blue is a concourse restored car. And something that I think is super cool about this is the Franklin Mint come out, photograph, did measurements, and used this particular car with this unique color combination for the die cast car. First year for the LT1, great motor. This is a 360 horse, 380 foot pounds. These were a solid lifter, 11 to 1 compression, aluminum high rise, holly carb, solid motor and a 350 cubic inch. Transmissions available for this year was a standard four speed. You could get an optional heavy duty M22 Muncie transmission, which this car has and you could also get an automatic three-speed transmission. Going into the rear axle, we had a 12-bolt pause attraction. This has the optional pause attraction. And for the Z28 package, you would have the standard 410 rear. As we come to the interior, you could see where this new design in 1970 would generate a lot of excitement. Sitting in here, it's a whole lot easier to see. The speedometer is easy to read. The tachometer is very easy to read. Seats are a huge improvement over those. If you've sat in a 1969 Camaro, you know what I mean. This window sticker here shows the car being sold at Herb Hallman Chevrolet in Reno, Nevada. And the base price of this car was $2,839. And by the time the 19 options were added, including the Z28 option, it brought it up to just a shade over $4,770. Some of the suspension upgrades with the Z28 was you had a stiffer spring rate, you had a larger sway bar in the front. Along with that, you had to steal 15 by seven wheels on a polyglass tire that was an F60-15. Out of the nearly 50 Camaros in the collection, this is one of my favorite, just a gorgeous second gen car. For more information on this car and other cars in the collection, please visit AmericanMuscleCarMuseum.com. Once again, thank you for watching.